Hey, in this episode, we're going to talk about freezing peppers, whether that's freezing peppers for later use or freezing peppers whole. Let's get to it. Now, you can freeze peppers a number of ways, but it doesn't matter if you're freezing jalapenos or if you're freezing big bell peppers. The principles are all the same. It's the air that gives the peppers freezer burn and deteriorates them, so you need to get rid of as much of the air as you can. So there's a number of things that you can use to freeze peppers. You can use these freezer bags. They're pretty hard wearing and they've got a Ziploc bag so you can close them down tightly. If you want to take it a step further, then you can freeze peppers in these silicon freezer bags. Now they're a little bit more hard wearing than your normal freezer bag. As well as that, you can wash them and reuse them uh, to save on plastic waste. Now um, your silicon bags and your freezer bags will keep your peppers freshly frozen for up to three to six months. Um, they won't stay as crisp as they used to be, but um, they'll definitely stay as hot and as tasty. Now, if you want your peppers to freeze indefinitely, then you need to use a vacuum packer. Freezing your peppers are a good way of preserving your peppers for all year round use. And you can do other things with peppers. You can uh, pickle them, you can turn them into chutneys, and uh, there are many other ways of preserving your peppers. I'm gonna create a preserve your pepper playlist and I'll uh, just pop the link up there now for you. So when it comes to freezing peppers, you need to decide roughly what you're going to be using it for. Uh, be it uh, freezing them whole for a jalapeno popper or freezing them in half for stuffed peppers. As a general rule of thumb, if the pepper is a large sweet one or a bell pepper, then I tend to take out the stalks and the seeds. Um, this just means that when it comes to removing the air out of the bags, you can squash the bag into the pepper and then that way you can remove as much air as you can. For small peppers like jalapenos or super hot, I just tend to remove the stalk and they're good to go in like this. And if you're only going to cook with your peppers, then you can also chop your peppers up and put a few chopped peppers in the bag. Some people will pop their peppers on a tray and quick freeze them for an hour before they put them into the bag um, to stop them sticking and uh, so they can pull out the individual peppers. Uh, I don't bother doing this at all. I tend to find that uh, you get rid of more air if you uh, put them in the bag first before freezing them. And uh, as well as that, um, I'll just freeze them in smaller batches um, if I need to use it for a smaller recipe. So I have all my peppers prepped and for the silicone bag and the freezer bag, what you need to do is uh, remove as much air as you can out of the bag before closing it. A uh, tip would be to uh, just close the bag all the way up to there and then pop a little straw in the end and suck through the straw to remove all the air and then close it up quickly. Um, for the vacuum packer, you want to make sure that your peppers, if they're big ones like this, that they're relatively flat so that the uh, plastic bag can go into the holes there. So uh, let's pop this one in. And there we go, it's uh, sealed up nicely. So there we go, all our peppers are ready for the freezer. If you like the video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. If you're gonna go hot, go super hot. We'll see you on the next one.